we are Nick and Nicola Redmond. We have dissociative identity disorder. Nick has a uh, is a gay male and Nicola is transgender, but as a whole, we are intersex. So that's complicated. And we are living with our father, who is a staunch, hardcore Pentecostal that believes the identities are demons, as taught by Bill Sabritsky. Um, that being trans is of the devil, and it's um, contrary to God creating man and woman. Um, the intersex part, he doesn't want to even try and tackle. Um, they didn't have those things back in his day, during the Second World War, so it doesn't mean anything. You're either upper class British or your scum, basically, so... You know, the world is divided into two. Anyhow, so we are looking after him. He's 97 this year. It's fun because he's going back to his childhood. Um, but there are rules, you know. Nicola's not allowed out in the house, of course. Uh, yeah, don't the others just nah <laughs> nothing here, sorry. Try again. Um can't play music in the house. That's not Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Elvis Presley. You know, he sometimes hears those evil Beatles come on his radio. Or the Eagles, you know, all that satanic stuff coming on his radio. He's in the middle of a war at the moment with the worship music and the church being too satanic for him to, to live with. Um, well, I'll have to find a church that, that doesn't have any <laughs> instruments to um, soothe his... Narcissistic rage that he throws at everybody that isn't upper class British male. You're either upper class British male or you're scum. Simple. Easy. I've just figured that out. <laughs> Alright, so there are men and then there's the rest. Right, got it. Thanks. Um, so anyway, I lived in a very, I live in a very, very cramped condition here, but I've got two bedrooms that I've cramped everything I own into. Um, I'm buying two more 160 litre boxes because honestly, the other day he had a go at me at not having enough water in the fridge and he went psycho and threatened to kick me out over that so it's either dementia or Alzheimer's I'm gonna to have to tell the family that you know I don't know how long this is gonna last how long I can put up with him it's fun because he's not attacking me anymore but he's attacking the Maoris, as usual, every day, continuously. And I wear headphones to block him out. But if he asks you a hateful question and you don't give the hateful answer in time, he will start yelling at you and take it out on you. So, you know, you got to pull the headphones out every now and then and nod your head and say yes or no or hold Hitler or whatever he wants you to say. So yeah, um, all my guitars are in the wardrobe. Uh, I, I, you know, 
when I moved in five, six years ago, I was suicidal, I was depressed, full of anxiety. And now I'm just sick of this this mess that has happened, not being able to build shelves or put things on, on shelves and have it looking all nice and <laughs> in alphabetical order. So I'm looking forward to, not looking forward to putting them into a home, but, you know, it's going to happen. Um... So, everything is going to be packed rapidly. That's okay. I mean, I, yeah, I know it's crazy. But I've, I've started building a Lego train set, which needs... My, my Hornby train set had a whole, whole room to itself. So my Lego train set's going to have a whole room to itself with medieval buildings... And chests of drawers. No, not chests of drawers. A treasure chest. I, I just came across a YouTube video that shows you how to make a simple treasure chest out of a cardboard roll. So, I was thinking of bending wood or buying balsa wood and bending that. But this is way easier. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm. this is the start of my life where I totally... Um, start reliving my childhood which was destroyed by some evil, evil people and I'll be using puppets, miniatures, models train sets and all that good stuff to complete what I started when I was 16 years old and yeah, stripping, literally stripping out the rubbish from the good and getting my life on track. But it's so much fun. <laughs> I know. Anyhow. <laughs>